Following a runway incident at Naval Air Station Fallon, Nevada in 2018, an F-22 Raptor stealth fighter encountered significant damage as it slid along the ground. However, after a lengthy five-year restoration period, the aircraft has successfully returned to active duty, marking a noteworthy milestone. Initially, the U.S. Air Force had set the goal of restoring the F-22 to flight readiness by the spring of 2022. This achievement was officially confirmed when the U.S. Department of Defense released a series of photographs showcasing the aircraft with the serial number 07, 4,146. These images captured the completion of the final round of tests conducted between April and May of the current year. On May 4th, the aircraft, assigned to the 90th Fighter Squadron of the 3rd Fighter Wing, stationed at Joint Base Elmendorf-Richardson in Alaska, rejoined the operational fleet. In this video, Antec Channel examines the reasons behind the extensive efforts invested in restoring a damaged F-22 Raptor. Let's delve into the specifics. During a graduation exercise for the U.S. Navy's Top Gun Fighter Weapons School training program at Naval Air Station Fallon, the aforementioned Raptor encountered a runway incident in April 2018, resulting in it sliding along the runway. The investigation conducted by the U.S. Air Force identified several factors contributing to the incident involving Aircraft 07, 4,146. These factors included inaccuracies in takeoff and landing data, as well as the variation in altitude between Fallon and Joint Base Elmendorf-Richardson. Additionally, the pilot retracted the aircraft's landing gear prematurely during takeoff, leading to insufficient lift for the aircraft to become airborne. Consequently, it descended back onto the runway without its landing gear deployed. The F-22 Raptor is purposefully designed to prioritize stealth. It holds the distinction of being the most stealthy fighter ever constructed, boasting an incredibly low radar cross-section (RCS) of only 0.0001 square meters. This remarkable stealth capability is achieved through a combination of its structural design and the use of radar-absorbing materials, RAM. Due to its intricate design, repairing the F-22 Raptor, even focusing solely on its external contours, is a highly complex task. In 2021, the U.S. Air Force released images showcasing the restoration process of the aircraft. At Joint Base Elmendorf-Richardson, intensive labor was dedicated to repairing the Raptor, which involved revealing the exposed internal components of the aircraft. It is evident that a significant amount of effort has been invested in the restoration. However, the exact cost of restoring aircraft 07, 4,146 remains undisclosed. The U.S. Air Force likely faced significant challenges in procuring the necessary parts for an aircraft that is no longer in production. This incident is not an isolated case. Back in 2012, Another F-22 encountered a similar incident, sliding along the runway without its landing gear deployed at Tyndall AFB. The repair costs for that specific aircraft were estimated to be around $35 million, and the entire restoration process took six years to complete. In the images captured on May 4th, it is evident that the F-22 underwent functional checks at Joint Base Elmendorf-Richardson. Functional check flights are routinely conducted after extensive maintenance periods to ensure the aircraft's operational performance and compliance with required standards. In the near future, the U.S. Air Force has outlined its intentions to replace the F-22 aircraft with a new sixth-generation stealth combat jet as part of the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD, program. Under this initiative, the Air Force actively seeks to acquire 200 next-generation air-dominant stealth combat jets. However, despite these plans, the EF-22 continues to play a critical role within the United States Air Force inventory. It has undergone consistent upgrades and enhancements in recent years, solidifying its position as a centerpiece in the Air Force's arsenal. One notable update is the integration of Link-16 technology. With Link-16, military aircraft, ships, and ground forces can exchange real-time tactical information. This system also facilitates the exchange of text messages and imagery data, while providing two channels of digital voice communication at different bit rates.
the restoration of this particular aircraft holds broader significance within the context of the Air Force's F-22 fleet, which consists of approximately 180 airframes. However, it's worth noting that only around 125 of these aircraft are currently combat capable. It's important to highlight that the F-22 Raptor remains not only the most powerful operational fighter jet in the U.S. Air Force fleet, but also in the entire world. Therefore, each restored F-22 holds significant importance.